All right, here we go. We're going to talk about R squared in context, okay? Um, R squared is the square of the correlation coefficient R. So remember we talked about a video about how that R is calculated, right? You, you put in like, you know, you, you, put, you put in the X and the Y, and then these guys are all positive, these are positives, and those are negatives, negatives, that whole thing, right? Okay, anyway. What is this R squared thing, and why do we have to put it in context? Well, it tells you uh, pretty much about the predicting power of your model, uh, but it's also misinterpreted a lot. I'm going to talk about some things that it's not, uh, also about what it actually is. So I'm going to tell you a tale of two pizzerias. There are two pizza places in my town, Gino's and Bob's. So right off the bat, you probably have a different style, Gino, Bob, right? Different, 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 different kind of places. Anyway, Gino's Pizza, uh, cheese pizza is 10 bucks, so just for a plain pizza right off the bat is 10 bucks, and every topping costs 50 cents. Bob's Cheese Pizza start off at 10 bucks, but he differentiates his, uh, his topping prices. For instance, meat's a buck, veggie's 50 cents, when you double something it's only 25 cents, but a special like lobster or uh, exotic cranberries, that would be like $1.50 per topping. So all of his toppings aren't exactly um, 50 cents each, but you know, whatever. So, um, so what happened is I sat outside of Gino's um, for seven days, and I, people came out, I said, how many, what was the price, how many toppings? So somebody came, yes sir, how many toppings, four, uh, what was the price, okay, how many toppings, three, what was the price, and I collected all of this data, all of this, hundreds and hundreds, and I got this scatter plot, I fit a line to it, and I found it, it matched perfectly, it was weird. And then I went over outside of Bob's, and I was like, hey, how many toppings? And they'd say, oh, four. Well, how much? Put the price, and I made a list of the number of toppings versus the prices. And I made a scatter plot, and I noticed that there was some scatter, but there was still a trend. I noticed in both restaurants, the more toppings, the higher the price the pizza would be. Even at Gino's with the scatter, the more toppings, the higher the price the pizza would be. And in both of them, the, 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 the equations were similar. As a matter of fact, let's say, well, whatever, let's, let's say that they're a little bit different, but I found the equation for Gino's was, it was 10 bucks for a cheese plus about 50 cents per number of toppings, per topping. And at Bob's, it was $10 per cheese and about 64 cents per topping. But the big difference wasn't just their equations that were a little off, is the R squared here at Gino's was 100%. And the R squared here was only 72%. Now, this is what R squared is not. This R squared does not tell you the percent of times the model will predict perfectly. It does not tell you the percent of points that the model actually goes through. Okay? It doesn't tell you any of that stuff. Okay? It's, it's more complicated than that. Okay, it's not just like, oh, if you have a model with an R squared of 72.72, 72% of the time you're going to make a perfect prediction. No! The model's probably never going to be perfect, except at Geno's, which is, this is never going to happen. You're never going to, almost never going to get this, okay? So, but this is just for example purposes. Um, but if you have an R squared of 72%, you can use the model a million times and never predict perfectly. Okay, so don't think. It just, it, it just gives you, it kind of gets you up in there, and I'm going to explain it right now. So this is what it means. First, you need to understand the word variability, and we call it differences. So when I think of the word variability, I think differences, how things differ. So I'm going to tell you what this R squared means. Please listen. Now, we know that prices of pizza vary. There's variability. There's differences. We know that when the people came out, every pizza came out, there was variability in number of toppings, differences. What this R squared means is the following that 100% of the differences in prices can be explained by top, a number of topping differences. Okay? Because basically the sole reason why price is different okay, could be explained by the number of toppings. So knowing the toppings alone, you know, the, the, basically the only reason why there were two different prices in pizzas was the number of toppings alone. Just knowing that. Uh, so what you say is, 100% of the differences of price, in price, can be explained by differences in toppings. And we actually use the word variability. So what I say is, 100% of the variability in pizza
pizza price at Geno's is explained by the variability in toppings. Now, some people like to change it to 100% of the variability in price is explained by the model, because actually 100% of the variability in price is explained by the model. But how do you use the model to explain things? You put in different topics. So variability in topics. So basically, prices differ here because topics differ. And it's not cause, but it's explained by, okay? Even though we know in this case it does. But over here at Bob's, it's a different story. While the model does explain some of the price differences, notice at Bob's you can have two pizzas with three toppings but different prices. So while the model does explain 72% of the price differences, it doesn't explain all of the price differences. There's other reasons besides number of toppings why two pizzas might cost different, have different things. Because what's the other thing? So think about this, ready? 72% of the price differences can be explained by differences in the number of toppings. 72% of the variability in price can be explained by variability in number of toppings. 72% of price differences can be explained by the model. That's the R squared, okay? What about the other 28%? The other 28% are in the residuals here. The residuals are the unexplained. I don't know. These little, I don't know. I can't explain. The model doesn't explain that part. The residuals is what's left over after the model, after the model does its job. So you put in four, boom, boom, you get that, but the model didn't predict this guy. Those little residuals are what's left after the model does, it, does its work. Notice here, 100%. There's nothing in the residuals here because the model explains 100% of these differences. But only here, does the model, over here, the model only explains 72% of the differences. Now, to oversimplify what's actually happening, you can kind of think about this, okay? Here's a pizza here, and here's a pizza over here. These pizzas have different prices, right? And here are their price differences, right here, okay? What did the model, of this difference, let's see what part of that difference the model explained. The model said this guy should cost, the one topping should cost this much. And this five topping one should cost this much. So the model said this much explained this much of the differences between the two. But see this little part and this little part? That part of the differences was not explained by the model. So while the model did explain a lot of the difference, a lot about the difference between these two pizzas' prices, the model didn't explain all of it. Some of it is in the residuals. It's unexplained. So basically what the R squared value tells you, it tells you the percent of the variability in Y that's explained by the model. Okay? Notice what it doesn't tell you. I'm, this, is a, this comes up. It says, this will be in a multiple choice. It'll say, 72%, um, uh, the R squared value of 0.72 means that 72% of the price is explained by the model. No! 72% of the differences in price. 72% of the variability in price. Not 72% of the entire price, because there's part of that entire price that's not explained by toppings at all. What's the part that's not explained by toppings? This initial 10 bucks. That initial 10 bucks is a big part of the price that's not explained at all by uh, the model or by the number of toppings. So the R squared value is the percent of these differences explained by these differences, not the percent of the entire thing. So you can say R squared. So you say this R squared percent of the variability in Y is explained by the model. Notice I didn't say R squared percent of the entire Y. Just R squared percent of the variability in Y is explained by the model. Okay? So you say R squared percent of the variability in Y is explained by the model, the rest is in the differences, or in the, in the residuals. Or R squared percent of the variability in Y is explained by variability in X. R squared percent of the differences in Y is explained by differences in X. 
That's what R squared means, okay? Hopefully that clears some things up, but that's how you can interpret it um, in a sentence. Good luck. Keep your head up. You gotta pass this test.